Welcome to Enscape 3.4. In this video, we will review the updates available to you in this latest version. Categories for the custom asset library have been added to provide a better way to manage assets, making sorting and filtering much easier and eliminating the need to scroll through the entire library. You can now organize your imported assets and create your own categories. The custom asset editor now has its own list interface. You can access it using this button, both from the asset library in your design application or directly in Enscape. Here you will find a list of all your custom assets, along with your asset categories on the left side. To add a new category, simply press Add Category, pick a name and an icon and press Add. To create a new asset, click New Project. To edit an existing one, select it and click the Edit button. In the Custom Asset Editor itself, you can now find a Category drop-down menu, as well as a plus button to create new categories on the fly. To assign multiple assets to a category, you can select them back in the list view and drag and drop them onto the chosen category. It is now possible to save the sun position in Enscape views. Slider controls and input fields are provided to quickly reproduce specific sun positions for other views. When creating a new view, you can do this by opening the view management and pressing Create View. Or when editing an existing view, you have now access to an azimuth slider, that's the horizontal position of the sun. and an altitude slider. That's the vertical position of the sun. You can decide for yourself whether to save the Enscape sun position in your view or not. To return the settings to what has been set up in your design application for this view, press the Undo Changes to Sun Position button. Mind though, this button is removed when you press Save until you make new changes. You can now perform further editing for existing views, such as adjusting the camera, and sun position. It is no longer necessary to create a new view for every change in the camera angle or natural lighting. For Revit users, the camera position and zoom are still taken from the Revit view. For Vectorworks users, this functionality will be available soon. As always, you can find additional information on the topics mentioned in the blog post linked below, as well as in the knowledge base. Enjoy using Enscape.